Hi. Hi. It's been a while since I've gotten to stand up here and say welcome to our show. And uh, it still feels a little weird. Um, but we're going to do a show for you tonight. And I'm not going to say much because uh, this show started off in, let me tell you a little story. Eighth grade, Alex sent me to places. Hey, can we do this? And I'm like, mm, no. Um, and I thank you for that. Yes. <laughs> but Alex and Ollie oh, yeah. have worked I'm, on I'm this, and, and a little bit of some of Leo, <laughs> have worked on this show since eighth grade. And we actually pulled it out uh, for the Arts Academy and that we did up at the Highland Center. And we worked on it up there uh, for what, almost a third quarter and uh, made it something presentable. So I kind of stole Alex's story, but since Alex is the directing the show, I'm going to turn it over to you. So I'm going to interrupt first. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so there's a donation basket out front, if you didn't see it on the way in. There's also some refreshments. There will be a short, like, 10 minute intermission. Um, okay. Uh, we also, and I don't know if you know this, we have a uh, chalkboard out in the um, lobby, and it's, um, yeah, what the drama club, what, what Hazen Drama means to you, and some of the kids have put some of the things on there, but we'd love to hear some of your responses too, and I don't think you need that one. So I did. I'd, I'd, we'd love to see if you want to add anything to that, so we can do that at intermission. Thanks. All right. Hey guys, welcome to the show. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for being here, and I can't even describe how much work has gone into this. And uh, I could tell you what, I put um, perform in her memory senior year on the top of my bucket list, and it sat there for four years. And for three years, I went, ha, 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 no. <laughs> and uh, this year, I was like, whoa, because that's what we're doing. And um, I couldn't thank you all enough, and you all enough, for making that a reality. Uh, I don't really know what to say. But um, please silence your cell phones. Like he said, there's a no donation box. And feel free to write whatever the drama club means to you up there. Uh, and I'm going to let these guys take over because they've worked really, really hard. And I'm super, super proud of everything we've done. So uh, give them a hand and enjoy the show. And I just get so nervous that I end up bombing the whole thing. I do not know what to do when I'm nervous and I didn't have time to study last night. And when I'm nervous, I start to babble. Oh, what do I do? M Molly, calm down. Okay, ready? Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Talia, stop. Um, it's just a science test. Science is your best subject. You're normally so confident. Are you feeling okay? Hey, Molly is. Everything okay? I'm handling well, it, Oliver. No, but I just, Bye. I had one thing I wanted to say. <sighs> Molly, I wanted to give you this necklace. It was my grandmother's and reminded me of you. It's beautiful. I love it. Thank you. Molly, we have to study. <laughs> Ow. What is wrong with you? What did he ever do to you? Uh, it doesn't matter. Now, are you going to tell me what's got you so freaked? Oh no, you're right. I never worry about a test. Something must be wrong. No, that's not what I meant. There's nothing wrong with you. Maybe you're just. Some... Maybe she's realized she's a hopeless case. <laughs> Shut up, Damien. I would think you and your. Oh, what was it again? Oh yeah, C plus average can talk. Come on, Talia. At least let me try to fend for myself. You don't always have to stand up. Well, not, it's not like anybody else will. It doesn't matter because I will. Now leave her alone. Talia, you should be grateful. See, I'm treating her better than she would ever deserve. Hey, you can't talk like that! <laughs> I can't talk like that. I don't know what I ever did to you. Don't listen to him, Molly. Damien, one more word, and I'll tell Dad about how your little study group is really just a cover story. Wouldn't he be disappointed? One call, that's all it would take. You can't. Not so confident now, are we? Yeah, whatever. You guys aren't worth my time. Okay, Molly, are you gonna tell me what's got you? What's going on? I don't know how to explain it. I 
I didn't sleep last night because I thought something was wrong. Molly. And no matter how early I go to bed, I'm always tired. Molly. And my allergies have been acting up all morning, which has to mean bad luck. Molly, calm down. God, this isn't like you. I just, uh, I feel so unprepared. You're going to do fine. And how do you know that? Well, I guess I don't, but I believe in you. This is just one test. There will be plenty of others, and you can ace those. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone, especially me. Take a moment, sit with me. I know sometimes it can be difficult to see. Let me say, if it helps, you don't have to live for anyone else. Just follow me. How could this happen? Uh, I told you, it's, it's genetic. It's what my dad died from. I, I always knew something was off. I just, I didn't want to believe it. Well, what are we gonna do? There's nothing we can do, Talia. Well, it can't end like this. It has to. What? What if it didn't? What? We could go. We could go to every place you've ever wanted to. We could leave it all behind. I could get the money for my dad. It's perfect. No, we can't. Our parents would never let us. Mm, then we don't tell them? What about Nathaniel and Oliver? I, I can't just leave everything behind. Em, this is our last chance. I want to go with you, really. If just... you want this, then we're doing it. I'll go get the money, you get ready, we'll meet back here tonight. Talia, wait! <sighs> what do you think you're doing? I needed something from the store. Okay, and where's your money? 
Well, mine wouldn't cover it. Seriously. You're leaving with her. Damien, I have to... Were you even going to say anything to Dad? He's going to kill you when he finds it out. Please don't tell him. Why are you leaving with her? She... Why can't you let it go? She is my friend. I want to spend time with her. What's the point? Is any of this going to matter by this time next year? Really? How can you say that? What, what did she ever do to you? Like you don't know. What are you talking about? You don't even know her. How is it a bad thing that we let her have some fun before? It's not like she'll have the memories. You will. And only you. Doesn't that seem more like a punishment? What has she ever done for you? She was there when you decided to hate me. You have never cared about me, or else you would try, just try to understand this. That really has come back to haunt you, because this is happening, no matter what. I'm leaving, whether you like it or not. You know, I care more than you think I do. Right. Don't you get it? All you ever do is think about yourself. This isn't about her. This is about you. And deep down, you know that. What? Are you even... Just forget it. I'm just saying, you don't want to waste a year of your life putting yourselves through this. All I'm trying to do is protect you here. Letting her go is the only way you can move on. And when she's gone, we won't have to bend over backwards for her anymore. And you're the one who doesn't understand that. Just like that, you're gonna slam the door, ignore facts. It isn't worth it anymore. You're gonna leave everyone behind. Guess I'll stop wasting my time. Good riddance. left behind It isn't worth your aggravation You gotta cure this fixation Good riddance You know you gotta move on Good riddance You can't tell me I'm wrong I know you've had your fun But now the fun is done I don't know why I tried It's time to say Everything. Are you ready? Talia, what are you doing here? It's none of your business, Nate. Go back inside. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Molly, are you ready to go? Go where? I'm going to Talia's house for the weekend, okay? Okay. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Are you okay? No. I will be. Okay, I got everything. We just have to leave before my dad figures out I'm gone. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> How are we supposed to get tickets or hotel rooms? Neither one of us is 18. Shit, I don't know. Uh, picketies. Yeah, no, that would uh, never work. 
Well, then we need to find an adult to go with us. No way. This is supposed to be just, just us. Well, that's not an option anymore, Talia. Fine. Who can we trust? I think I know a guy. I'm okay. Uh, this is Talia, by the way. Pleasure to meet you, Talia. I came to ask you a favor. Sure, what's up? Well, we're going on a road trip, and we need an adult to go with us. Would you be down for an adventure? Sure. Just like that? Yeah. I think it's really cool what your parents are letting you guys do. Oh, oh yeah. They must uh, realize just how much it means to us. Mm-hmm. I think that's something really special. Now, I... I'm gonna get my stuff and uh, I'll meet you two back here. Sounds good. Ow! You lied to him. So? It's I not like he's ever gonna figure it out. I don't think I'm comfortable with this anymore. Well, suck it up, Buttercup, because there's no going back now. <laughs> what is that? In case things get boring, now, come on, we gotta get going if we're gonna check catch that train. You ready? I don't like him. Oh, give him a chance. Are we there yet? Relax, Talia. The joy is in the journey. <laughs> it doesn't seem very joyous to me. Come on, Talia. We're going on the adventure of a lifetime. Yeah, an adventure originally meant for me and Molly. The more the merrier, Talia. Yeah, the more the merrier, Talia. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you two just go without me? Oh, come on, Talia. You're the one who wanted to go on this trip. Stop being such a bum. Yeah, you're right. It was my idea. Until you invited him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, everyone take a deep breath. What? Okay. Okay. I have an idea. Oh. I'll play something. Yes. Oh, please don't. Shh. That's a C chord. Okay. As you go along, have your fingers and hit that drum. Strum a tune and sing along. A traveling song, a traveling song. By bed, by plane, by car, bus. Why don't you travel the world with us? Sing a tune through every state. Enjoy the journey now, isn't this a great? <laughs> We're gonna sing our songs, get through every single kind of weather. Sing along to a traveling song. Come on, guys, may we go? Let's sing the traveling song. Sing a tune that we all know. Now make it up as you go along. Snap your fingers and hit that drum. Strum a tune and sing along to a traveling song. A traveling song. Every day. And when we get there, who knows what will bring us? The sun of many adventures might lead us. Just sing along to our traveling songs. Oh God, it's the way we go. Let's sing the traveling song. Sing a tune that we all know. You'll make it up as you go along. Are you ready, Helia? I still don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> to our traveling song, our traveling song. A traveling song. <laughs> so, New York. Yeah, what about it? I just thought the first stop of her journey was going to be a little less cliche. <sighs> Classic. Molly and I have always wanted to go there together. 
Okay, so it isn't that exciting, but I suppose you've been there. Oh, I've been to a lot of places. Good for you. Guys, look. Oliver wrote me a letter already. How do you get that letter? He's so sweet. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. We're on a train. All right, let's hear it. I, I don't know how you got that letter. <laughs> Dear Molly. Oh, Molly. But not even words can describe your beauty. The happiness that you bring to the world when you smile, and the joy that you bring to the world when you laugh. What not even words can describe how much I love you. Your eyes glitter like diamonds in the sun. Your smile can lift anyone out of the foulest of moods. I'm filled with a sense of joy knowing that you are mine. I, I brought you this flower because it was really, it was really pretty. And yet its beauty is nothing compared to your own. You know, I miss being able to walk with you to class, have lunch with you, play Quiet Mountain on my game square, and then almost immediately have to change it because you're scared to something like wonderful Italian jump men. Your reasons shall not prevent you from coming back for just one night. Oh, Molly, my sweet ray of sunshine, it would mean everything to me if you could accompany me to the party of the year. My neighbor Albert's bar mitzvah. <laughs> it would mean everything if the one who makes my heart beat could accompany me to such a magical evening. Oliver, where does he come up with this stuff? I still don't know how you got that letter. <laughs> um, Talia, I haven't told him. You didn't tell anyone, did you? No one but Aiden in your family. Is that bad? Don't you think some people deserve to know? You have to tell him. You can't just keep him on the hook. Can we just talk about something? Welcome to the New York Express, where your comfort is guaranteed. Can I get you three anything? We're fine, thank you. Uh, actually, can I have a pill and a blanket, please? I'm tired. But you just woke up, and I'm still tired. Well, will you at least eat something? You've been asleep all day. Enough, Talia. Blanket, please. Of course. Oh, and sir, sir, um, we've received some complaints about the music. Would you mind stopping with the guitar for the night? I'd rather not. This is non-negotiable, sir. Put it away or I will. Oh, okay. What was that all about? Nothing. Uh, what are good, you... Good night. What's in that, a uh, journal you've been scribbling in? It's just a writing journal. Writing helps me relax. Well, um, what are you writing about? Everything. The trip. Memories. I want to remember it all clearly when, when it's, um, over. Um, I think it's a really cool way you're, uh, doing for her. I mean, I wish that I, uh, um, uh, can I, uh, see what you've written? Oh, I don't think so. I'm not very confident. Okay, okay. Uh, well, the, uh, the train's stopping soon. Um, I'll go wait for you guys outside and, uh, you wait Molly, okay? Okay. 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 
Okay. okay. Molly, time to wake up. Uh, I'm up. I'm up. Let's go, sunshine. Oh. Mm -hmm. Finally, we have to go. Okay, so where to first? Coney Island? I was thinking the Empire State Building. The Empire what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you really, you really, you really, the Empire, you really, yeah, 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 you really, you really think that's a good idea? Why wouldn't it be? Oh, oh, you know, it's just like, uh, it's, 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 it's got a lot of people and it's like really high up and we're like in the middle of the pandemic and oh, I'm sick and there's like... Oh, oh, I see. So you're afraid of heights? <coughs> Me. Afraid of heights. Uh, <coughs> 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 okay, yeah, fine. I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you would be a damper on this trip. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Um, I will be fine. Are you sure? If you're not comfortable. I'm uh, yes. super sure. Um, uh, let's do it then. Let's go. What? Yep, we're going to go conquer this fear. Uh, okay, I wasn't being serious. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, we're here. This is so, 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 so great. Now let's leave. Ah, no. Walk to the edge. Walk to the what? Yep, the A D G E edge. Okay, right um, how about we say we did, but not do it? No. <laughs> how about I'll go with you? Come on. Aiden, go more. It's like right over more. here. A little, little bit more. I'm closer. I'm oh, close. faster. Oh. I'm close. Touch it. Come on. Oh my god. Right okay, I did it! Um, I will wait by the door, not because I'm scared, just for uh, convenience. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> well, he did it in the end. I think he's pretty brave. Oh, yeah, especially when he ran to the door, right as a ghost. Did you do all that just to get rid of him? Obviously. You're so humble. You know, I actually think I wanted to help him. I may be awful. Maybe. <laughs> Can we get back to our adventure now? Fine. Look at this view. Seems like it stretches for miles, I know. You were scared at first, but I'll bet you've never seen a view like that before. Everything under the horizon will explore and we're not going home we won't have it quits so it will never be another chance like this Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I, I, you know, I wasn't uh, really scared. I, uh... I was just trying to make you two feel better. Really? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I face far worse. Really? Well, um, for starters, I have been all over the world. One of my most recent trips was to France. Which, um, judging off of the amount of traveling you said you've done, I'm sure you've been there. Uh, nope. Well, actually, uh, not yet. <laughs> As I was saying, France was lovely. Oh my god, but my favorite place you must have gone to is <sighs> Borneo, Indonesia. Oh my god. We must have gone there more than all other places combined. Okay, wait. I have a question. Who's we? Who's this mysterious traveling partner you're always talking about? Oh, um, well, his name's Thomas. Um, we're very close. Do you think I'll ever get to meet him? I think you will. Do I have many questions? Such as? Such as, why are you staying in an abandoned cabin in the woods on your bucket list? Duh, because of the movie. It's like a... Um, test? Test of wits. Okay, uh, oh! So whoever doesn't scare win, get scared wins. I guess. I hope you two are prepared to lose. Well, um... I'm gonna go explore, see what's out there, you know. Try not to get lost. Suit yourself! Mm. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Such as? Such as, I got another letter from Oliver. Yay. <laughs> Let me read it to you. Okay. <clears throat> Dear Molly, I was devastated to not receive a reply from you, though my love for you does not waver. The evening meant to be the most magical, wonderful evening turned into me sitting in the sun on Albert's back porch watching kids throw cake at each other. <laughs> it would have been lovely for you to attend, but alas, you never responded to my letter. It's not like that was supposed to be the night where I finally kissed you and maybe we'd made out in... Albert's bathroom. But anyway, Molly, my sweet ray of sunshine, I hope you feel the same love for me that I do for you. My feelings cannot be contained by paper. I wish to spill every long-lasting memory and vision of you across the page. And if I did, there would be color. Color of the brightest hues and the most vibrant shades. The paper would explode with music and laughter, happiness and love. If I did this, I would have before me the most beautiful masterpiece, something even Picasso could recreate. These are the colors of my soul, the colors that only exist when you're around. My world is nothing without you, which means my world is nothing because you are not here. My only wish is for you to return and fill my life with color once more. Sincerely, Oliver. Oh, that was beautiful. Look. I may not like the guy, and he may be corny as hell, but I'm glad he makes you happy, which is why you need to tell him. I, I don't know how. You, you heard that letter. He wants to know. You left school with no explanation. You're not writing back to him. He, you have to tell him. I don't want to hurt him. It'll be worse if you don't. Do we really have to have this argument every single time he writes? Can't you just trust that I'm doing what's best for me? Fine. How long has Aiden been gone? <laughs> Payback for the death. 
Empire State Building thing. <laughs> what the hell? Come on, come on, it was just a joke. Not to me, of course it? Okay, uh, sorry Molly, um... How about next time you'll be in on the joke? We're gonna get Talia pretty good. <laughs> okay, okay, nope. That's enough excitement for one night. Everyone gets fed. We got a big day tomorrow. Oh. Really? Yep. Talia. Molly. I can't sleep. What's wrong? I don't know. My tummy hurts. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Here. <clears throat> I'll sing something. Sleep. Mm, no. Sleep. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Sleep. Rest your head now. Float across your I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. Okay, well, where are we off to now? I thought that uh, Aiden could pick. <laughs> How about skydiving? <laughs> Sounds perfect. Let's go. I want to be out of here as soon as possible. Oh, okay. Uh, do I get one of those friendship bracelets? Do not push it. Okay. <laughs> is your aunt's. Yeah. I don't think I've ever met her. <laughs> My mom complained that she bought this place instead of a ticket to come see us. Well, 
It'll work. Um, we can stay the night and no one will ever know we were here. Where's the basement? Um, I think it's that way. Okay. I don't want to know. No, you don't. Okay. <laughs> well, I did get another letter from Oliver. Goody gumdrops. Would you let me read it? Fine. <clears throat> Dear Molly. With not even words, not even words can do whatever. God, I, I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna have to speak from the heart and let you know how I truly feel. This 
Great. Now, we'll never get to Florida. We will, just not on your schedule. This is all your fault. I have said I'm sorry a million times. I didn't mean for this to happen. I didn't mean to ruin anything. You didn't ruin anything. I'm the one who brought us to the wrong house. Okay, um, let's quit the blame game. What's done is done and there's no going back. Look, Aiden, I'm- Don't, it's- Here, why don't you play something? It's gotten pretty boring. Terrific idea. Take it. That's a sequel. Come on, guys, it's time to wait. Let's sing the jail time song. Sing a tune we don't really know. You make it up as you go along. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Clap your hands in time to the beat. To the jail time song, or accidentally breaking into someone's house that we thought was Molly's aunt. But it wasn't Molly's aunt, it was some guy who looked like my former principal. But it wasn't my former principal, and he just really pissed me off. Aiden! Song. <laughs> All right, it looks like you're free to go. What? Someone bailed you out. Who? Doesn't say. X is on your left. <laughs> Florida? Florida! <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that I beat my record for the amount of cops I passed while going 90 on the freeway. That is not a good thing. I mean, yeah, but at least I make sure to keep my seatbelt on around you guys. That's worse. You do realize that's worse, <laughs> right? Uh, hey Molly, you good? Yeah, I just don't have it. I have some stuff that could help with it. Uh, some of it not necessarily legal in this state, but we can keep that on the down low. You're not helping. I'm fine, I just... Oh. What the hell? Molly, if you're out there, please come back home. Molly misses you very much. That was a heartbreaking testimony from a grieving mother and man. Jennifer Fletcher says her daughter Molly ran away two days ago after getting in a fight with her mother. That bitch. We've been gone six weeks. Six weeks and she just now realizes that her daughter is missing. Sorry, what's going on? <laughs> Molly, that's your mom on the TV. Tolly, you, you told me. I do know what I told you. Um, you guys are runaways. Aiden. Tolly, you guys are minors. I'm a major, or adult, or whatever you call it. I'm a kidnapper! We didn't have a choice. No, Talia, there is no excuse for this. This, this is serious. You can't do this to her. This is her life. I don't want to hear it, Talia. But if you would just listen. Stop it! Molly, Molly. I don't care, Talia. I'm taking Molly to the hospital. This has gone on way too far. But you can't. What about our trip? What about our trip? Molly has been slowly getting worse and worse. I'm not about to put her in danger anymore. So what? You're just gonna leave her all alone in a hospital room? We don't even know if she's gonna die. She... she could get better. Talia. And, and what do you think is gonna happen when you show up to the hospital with an underage girl that you brought over state lines illegally? I do not think a man of your size would do well in prison. <laughs> I don't have insurance. What did you say? My mom. She lost her job a few days ago. I don't have insurance. Moms, your mom lost her job last year. She is 
obviously getting worse. I'm taking her to the hospital. What did she just say about not having insurance? It's not like they're just gonna reject her. Yes, they will. That's what they did with her dad. Stop. Don't bring my dad into this just to win a stupid argument, Talia. Besides, it's, it's my choice whether or not we go to the hospital. It's my choice wherever we go. It's my choice. And I know I, I can't keep up and I forget things, but it's my life and I really want ice cream. I'm sorry, Em. I didn't mean to bring your- Don't. Just want ice cream. Talia, have you seen my shoes? Yeah, sorry. I couldn't sleep last night, and I saw that on our hike yesterday, you kind of destroyed them, so I thought I'd clean them up. Sorry. Don't apologize for doing something nice. While you're at it, can you fix my shoe? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near that thing. This thing? Yeah, this uh, that's one. If this? you come any closer, this? I will scream. This, yep. this, this little thing? This little thing? Oh my god! Ow! Sorry! Damn. Real smooth. Smooth. <laughs> you at least have to admit the car is much better than the train. I prefer the train. Um, how do you get that car? You don't want to. Uh, okay, I'm ignoring you now. Is there anything else you would like to do in Georgia before Florida? Ugh, sorry. It's hard for me to think straight right now. Oh, well, um, I'd say the best part about not having a set plan in place is you have to be kind of spontaneous thing about things. You really get to experience life to the fullest when you have no clue what's going on. <laughs> yeah, says the guy who didn't know he was a kidnapper till a week ago. <laughs> Forgive and forget, Dahlia. Yeah, when I when I, I start to think about it, I get a little bit pissed, but um that's why I don't like to think too hard. <laughs> yeah, we noticed. <laughs> Look, how about we have a lazy day today? Um I'll go run errands and you guys can uh hang out here and um I'll pick you up at the end of the day. Sounds good. Okay, um, you have my phone number if you need anything. Got it. Okay, cool. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, Talia. Yeah. I have to tell you something in case we don't have time. What is it? Thank you for being my friend. So we were in Florida, <laughs> and Molly is swimming with dolphins. What's your point, Sherlock? Why aren't we swimming with dolphins? I'm not a big fan of water. Oh. I'd rather sit on the sidelines for this one. But you, you, however, are welcome to join her. I think I'll sit out too. Um, we've been doing a lot of running around lately. I want to take this time to relax. Relax. Quietly. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, Talia, uh, can we talk about something? I guess. Um, we've all been through a lot recently, um, and I know how close you are to Molly, but. Do you really think this is the right way? How can you say that? You, you don't even know her. Talia, do you know how I met Molly? I, I guess not. Well, um, I was Nate's babysitter for a couple years. And uh, after he would go to bed, um, Molly and I would just stay up and talk. What does this have to do with anything? Well, um, last year, uh, my boyfriend passed away, um, 
His case was pretty similar to Molly's, where um, they start to forget stuff. Um, and I would get so frustrated with him sometimes that we would just get into fights about nothing. And before I knew it, he was gone. Um, Aiden, I, I had no idea. It's, I, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's okay. He, Thomas, um, he's the one who gave me my guitar. And he was the reason I was so happy to go with you guys. I wish I could be giving him what you are giving her now. And do anything for her. Have you asked yourself why? She's my best friend. Look, Talia, we've all been through a lot recently, but what you feel for her, it's more than that. I don't know what you're talking about. You have to let her go. What? I'm not saying you shouldn't enjoy these last couple weeks. All I'm saying is that when they're over, you're going to have to let her go. Take it from someone who knows it hurts a lot more to hold on than it is to let go. Aiden, this is so funny. You should come join me. Coming. Just think about it. to go to bed. I want to fly! Okay. Hey, look. I, 
got our pictures from the aquarium developed and I put them in our scrapbook. Oh my gosh. Do you remember when Oliver dropped his shoe in the shark tank? Oh yeah, and then Mr. Evans had to fish it out and he had to buy him a new pair. Did you know he still has those? <laughs> Why? Because it was the first day we met. Hey, um, uh, I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Have fun. Okay. Hey, is that back, jerk? Hey, buddy. Can you hear me? What's it like up among all the stars? Do you miss me? When you think about us, do you remember the good? Or do you remember it all? Cause I do. Sometimes I don't want to. Not because I don't love you, but I don't love the pain. But if it was all or nothing, I'd want you to know I choose you all over again. If I took a rocket up to the stars We sit together for a while so I think we should talk, yeah The distance has grown Now it's miles and miles and miles and miles I look at you through broken glass and there's promises you knew wouldn't last And I see the past like I always have But if I blur my vision I've had in the past for a minute Just a minute So my memories are framed through rose-colored glasses They keep fogging up Every minute that passes when you were here, I was okay. Now my sense of balance has gone away. Feel like I am going down. My feet are getting heavy. Heavy. Cause I know that we are in different paths. Those things we said we can't take back. Stop jumping over those sidewalk cracks I need you close, I need you here for a minute Just a minute The pain keeps on growing and spreading around It's that love's fatal side effect that we have found In all of my life, a love that I feel Says if love doesn't hurt, what you have isn't real why do we love it all when it's destined to end? It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. Heavy. Hey, buddy. Can you help me? I don't want them to know what I feel. What can I do? Is there anything I can do? These burdens I carry, these burdens she'll carry, they're heavy. They're heavy. So he really wrote to you again? In the last letter it was kind of intense. Yeah. How do I tell him? 
You haven't told him? No, I, I don't want to hurt him. Oh, my God. You told him? Molly. No! How, how could you do that? I was trying no. to help. You were not. You were trying to meddle. He needed to know before it was too late. He needed to know, and you, you weren't going to do it. Why do you not understand this is my life, Talia? Just because it's your life doesn't mean that you can just string people along and pretend that you care when clearly you don't. God, you are so selfish. Me? Me? I'm the selfish one. You made this whole trip just to spend time with me. And it's been nothing but what you want. Talia, I am never going to see my family again. And I gave that up for you. But you hate it so much. Then why don't you just leave? Fine, I will. Fine. Fine. I've been looking for you everywhere. What's wrong? It's Molly. We gotta go. I've never liked hospitals. Wait, Molly, Molly can't afford. I sold my guitar. And the car, but that wasn't. What did he say to you? He came to apologize. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm so sorry. Um, I, I didn't, I was wrong, I know. I just. Did you come here to talk about this? Or did you come to watch me die? Molly. I said a lot of stuff I could never honestly mean. You know that. Do I? What have you done recently to prove that to me? I know that I haven't been the friend that you deserve lately. But I didn't mean a word of it. I, I swear. I love you. Is there anything I can get you? No. Oh. I just... I can't believe this is happening. Well, I think there's someone here who wants to see you. What? Molly? Oliver? How are you here? You can thank Talia for that one. I think thank you so it. much. I love you, Oliver. I love you, too. You know this guy? He's my brother. I didn't expect to see you here. I'm so, so, so sorry about everything. I just didn't want somebody else taking away my best friend. This was never about you and Molly. This was about you and me. 
Yeah. I never hated her. Just every time she was around, I disappeared. What have I become? Everything I never wanted to be. Look what I've done. A nightmare's all that I see. I couldn't take being left behind again. It's all I've known since I can't remember when. Why didn't I listen? I pushed it all away. Now I'm a villain. But that all ends today. I hope you both had fun. But now the fun is done. Like that. It sounds cliche, but you just start a new adventure, and uh, Talia, you just need to keep singing that same tune. Come on guys, it's time to go. Let's sing the farewell song. Sing a tune we may not know. But pick it up as you go along. Press your head and close your eyes. Take a breath and harmonize. To your farewell song, farewell.
Isn't this a great? <laughs> We're gonna sing.